Derbyshire turned the tables with unbeaten Dahl 85. 15 wickets fell on day one at New Road. Derbyshire dismissed for a paltry 130. Some gloss added by Anish Dahl before the pairs had their own difficulties. Rescued by Haynes and Ali, the latter with 52 on debut to give themselves a slender 11-run lead heading into day two. The score, 141 for five. They managed to add seven to the total before losing their sixth wicket. Roderick out caught behind off Aitchison for a 15-ball duck. Joe Leach would face just two, Aitchison with his second in the over, the number eight, LBW. They limped past 150, but Baker fell bowled by Aitchison for two with the lead just 24. Barnard tried to counter-attack and pushed the score on as quick as he could, but even the talented all-rounder couldn't hold Derbyshire off forever and would depart for 39, caught behind off the bowling of Dahl. And Scrimshaw finished them off. The catch taken by Aitchison at first slip. Worcestershire all out for 185, their lead 55. After stumbling to 23 for 3, the middle order recovery led by Haynes on 48 and Kashi Valley's debut 50 had given the pairs a slender advantage in a match that continued to race along. Aitchison had been instrumental to Derbyshire's efforts, finishing with 4 for 40. And Derbyshire's start was a little better this time around, up to 21 when they lost their first wicket. Reese LBW to Leach for 5. That left them 37 for 1 at lunch, still 18 behind the hosts. Came and Guest chipped away at the deficit, moving the score past 50 and to two runs away from level with a boundary from Brook Guest. But with two more needed to draw level, Guest fell, inside edging onto his stumps to go for 17. They overturned the deficit and started building a lead worth 22 when Kane was pinned in front by Pennington. Deploy managed six before he too fell bowled by Pennington. If the pairs kept this up, the match would be done and dusted with two days left to play. They had a fifth, Cartwright out stumped for two as Baker fizzed one down the leg side. Wayne Madsen and Anoj Dahl pushed the visitors beyond 100 and tried to halt the progress being made by the pairs. They were still together at tee, the lead up to 62, the score 117 for five, but plenty of more hard work lay ahead in the final session of the day. Madsen and Dahl's partnership grew in stature, and with it the score and lead started to look much healthier for Derbyshire. They were worth 50 off 127 balls when Dahl ran one off Hasnain. Two balls later, Madsen was raising the bat, up to 50 off 90 balls when he ripped Hasnain for a seventh four of his innings. They'd moved the score beyond 150 when Madsen fell LBW for 69 to Barnard. The pair's man pumped up as he took the key wicket. McKinnon joined Dahl in the middle and once again Worcestershire were denied. Suddenly wickets looked hard to come by, opportunities dried up and the visitors started to look much more comfortable. When Dahl flicked Pennington off of his pads for a single, his side now had 200 on the board and he found two off Baker to go to his 50, scored of 112 balls, another fine knock and an all-important one for his side's hopes. They couldn't be stopped, 250 up with a Dahl single off Leach who then brought up the 100-run stand of 121 balls, the connection much better to this delivery from Leach. McKinnon joined Dahl on a half-century, rocking back to Hasnain, ropes found, 50 up off 74. When they reached the close of play, a match that had once been racing towards an early finish now had slowed, and Derbyshire had built themselves a handy lead of 231, the score now 286 for 6. It's still anyone's game, and a third day finish still looks likely, but the innings was a warning to Worcestershire, a shot across their bows. They need to pick up the final wickets quickly when they return, or it could prove to be a pretty tricky chase.